My research focuses on glioblastoma and gliomas, or brain cancer. It's the most common kind of brain tumor in America today. It's the kind that affected Ted Kennedy. It's a horrible disease. It's a killer. It's almost like a guaranteed death sentence. Right now, the average survival with people who get diagnosed with brain cancer is about 14 or 15 months. With the research we're doing here at UCLA, we hope to change that. What we're doing here at UCLA is using nanotechnology to attack brain cancer. This is a really brand new way to approach brain cancer and has really never been studied before. We're using a vault nanoparticle, which is essentially a really tiny small capsule. It was first discovered here at UCLA. They're called nanoparticles because they are incredibly small. That's where they derive their name. We're using these incredibly small particles to deliver different kinds of treatment to brain cancer for the very first time. Vault nanoparticle is so small, it's invisible to the human eye. You need a special electron microscope to be able to see it. To give you a terms of how small it is, it's about a million times smaller than the width of the human hair. And inside of this capsular shape, we can tuck in different kinds of either drugs or immune boosting proteins that can help fight brain cancer. We call it a vault nanoparticle because it's shaped like a church cathedral and hence it looks like a vault. This is an engineer's dream because we can design the vault nanoparticle to carry almost anything we want. Things like chemotherapy, different kinds of drugs to the brain cancer, a little marker on the nanoparticle that makes the nanotechnology or nanoparticle act like a heat-seeking missile to aim straight for the brain cancer. Nanotechnology gives scientists a way to engineer specific treatments that are targeted for the brain cancer. These are the brain cancer cells growing inside the medium, inside this flask, and we need to grow them in here so that we can study them. Imagine a time when we can make brain cancer, chronic disease like diabetes or hypertension. When you walk around saying, I have diabetes, hypertension, and brain cancer, and I just take my medicines for it. Imagine a time when we can do that. And ultimately, a nanoparticle or nanotechnology vaccine for brain cancer. I hope one day we can tell our patients that their loved ones don't have to die from this horrible disease.